Culture shock. Uh, uh. They're a little different out there in L.A., I tell you what. For a North Carolina boy, I, I had a lot of learning to do about the, the outside world, outside of Carolina. It was, uh, it was fun. I learned a lot about the music biz and, and everything else. But I remember the first night I was there, it was just a... Took some getting used to. First night I was there was Hollywood week and we had uh, 300 contestants and we were in this big ballroom having dinner. And the waitress came up to me and she said, sir, what would you like to drink? I barely been outside of North Carolina before, so I didn't think nothing of it. I said, well, I'll take sweet tea. <laughs> <laughs> and she brought me out something that looked like sweet tea. <laughs> but you ever heard that saying, you know, if, if it looks like a duck and it quacks like a duck, it's a duck. This won't a duck. <laughs> Ooh, Lord have mercy. She must have gone out of the vending machine, paid 50 cents, got me some brisk or something. Oh. That wasn't mama sweet tea, I tell you that much. It was good, it was all right. I remember another thing that weirded me out, y'all, and this was the strangest thing to me. Still just don't get it. Maybe some y'all do. Green. Green is awesome when you're talking about the environment. That's good. But green. When, when I ask for a, a grilled chicken wrap and the tortilla is green, that ain't natural. I just, <laughs> I didn't get it. They're everywhere then, everywhere. They had green smoothies too. I just want a strawberry banana. Maybe some peanut butter too. It's gotta be a good day, you know what I mean? <laughs> But it was all right, you know, besides that, I, I really did enjoy my time in L.A. And I went out there with one mission, and one mission only, and that was to wave the good flag of country music as well as I could while I was out there. So I hope I made y'all proud while I was in the country. Yeah. And I went out there, I'm 20 years old right now, y'all, and I was about 17 on the show. i tell you what, it, it's, everybody goes through their awkward teenage years. There's something else to go through with 10 million people watching every night. Woohoo! I watch back those shows and I say, Oh, you doing, son? Mm. It's all good. It's all good. But really, I went out there with that mission and I knew what I wanted to sing 20 years old, 17 at the time, but I was an old soul. I grew up listening to stuff like Johnny Cash and, and Merle Haggard and Willie and Ronnie Mishap and, and Elvis. Those guys are kind of what made country music what it was. And, and uh, I told them, I said, Look, y'all, this, this is me. This is what I want to sing. And they said, uh, they said, look, brother, they said, you know, you know you were on a pop show. <laughs> and I said, well, well, look, brother, you know, you, you got the wrong dude. And somebody's having a great time up there, I tell you what, hey, hey, I feel you. I feel you. <laughs> I told them, y'all got the wrong dude if you're looking for pop. But they said, no, they said, man, they said, this, is, this show is all about votes, all right? And if you want to get as many votes as possible, you got to sing stuff like, no lie, they said this to me. You got to sing stuff like, ra ra ooh ra ra, oh my la la la, ga ga ooh la la, what the heck is this? Lady <laughs> <laughs> Gaga, for real? <laughs> not me, not Scotty. I'm telling you. Did y'all watch season 10 of Idol when I was on there and all that jazz? Yeah. So that means y'all would have seen the episode where Gaga was our mentor of sorts. Quotation marks. <laughs> Lord have mercy. I mean, y'all only saw the half of it too. I mean, it's, it's, it was, I'll be sleeping at night in the flashbacks. <laughs> Gaga, ah, oh, it's just a nightmare. Yeah, you're just dreaming. <laughs> She was cool. Hey, different strokes, different folks. She's, she's doing pretty well for herself. So, hey, but I know if I'd have walked over here in a meat suit, y'all would have just gone right back out of there. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> but I, it would be bacon if I was going to wear a meat suit. Bacon. <laughs> <That's amazing. laughs> but really, I had to listen to that kind of stuff. And, and, and finally, I said, look, y'all, this is me. This is what I want to do. And it was about halfway through the show. And, and I finally just had to put my foot down. and. It was taking a while to go through those songs. I said, look, I gotta save y'all some time. I gotta save me some time. So I got three words for you. I am country. All right. That's simple. Things got a lot easier after that. And I went up to sing songs like this right here, the finale of the show. 
This next was about the sleep main ACM entertainer of the year. I prefer to call him the GOAT, the greatest of all time.